Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with you again on Revelation in Focus. Last time we would have briefly discussed the God's wrath. God's wrath poured out on iniquity, evildoers. However, we went on to show from Scripture that it is not God's ultimate agenda to destroy, but rather to save. The Word of God refers to His act of destruction as a strange act because He is a God of love. Love, though, cannot allow for suffering to continue unchecked. Therefore, perpetrators of evil, of suffering, evil itself has to come to an end. Man will find himself or herself in a predicament if rejecting, once rejecting God's offer of mercy and grace. We want to continue with uh, the theme, apocalyptic justice, uh, justice as is depicted in the apocalypse written by John the Revel Revelator on the Isle of Patmos. I'm yours truly, Cleveland Hudson. With me in studio today is Elder Ron Chichesto and Elder Mentor. Before we go to the reading of the word, we shall ask Elder Chichesto to lead us to the throne of grace. Loving Heavenly Father, we thank you again for the opportunity of sharing your word we pray that you will open our minds and let your Holy Spirit take control, bless our viewers and our listeners. May the truth be clear to them, we pray, in your son's precious name. Hallelujah. Elder Mentor, can you read Revelation 16, verse 1 to 4? And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways, and pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. And the forest went, and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, as upon them which worship his image. And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea, and became as the blood of a dead man. And every living soul died in the sea. And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and the fountains of waters, and they became blood. Quite a lot here. In just a few verses, quite a lot. This is God's wrath uh, that the apocalypse depicts here. Um, let, let's discuss. Uh, last time we went into some discussion on what a plague is, uh, God's wrath, why, why his wrath, and, and what is the reason for his wrath. Well, we want to take it even further. First of all, um, God's wrath poured out on the earth. Let's, let's talk a little more about that. Um, gentlemen? All right. Um, as we have said repeatedly, mm -hmm. destruction is never part of God's plan. In fact, um, Elder Cleveland keeps reminding us that it's alien to his nature. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Bible refers to it as a strange act. But we must understand that God is a God of justice and mercy. All right? And because of his justice, he cannot, simply cannot tolerate sin. All right, God loves the sinner, mm -hmm. as we have said before, but, but he hates the sin. And so, um, because he loves the sinner, he has extended his grace and mercy to the sinner mm -hmm. um, for his repentance. But then there's a time coming when um, God's justness, justice sorry, will not allow sin to continue unchecked. Cannot, true. just can't. Can't. Mm -hmm. If he does that... Right then he'll go to the extreme of his, uh, the alien to his nature. Right. Yeah, exactly. This permissive way of, of yeah. evil forever and ever right. and ever. No. You see? 
Uh, and, and Elementor, this is a pattern you have said before on this program, talking about uh, previous acts of God, of, of wrath. And you can you can briefly just just highlight a few of those. Yes, um, views. one one example is um, when the the, uh, the pre uh, the flood before the flood, mm -hmm. um, antediluvium, mm -hmm. um, when men got out of place and one of them want to retain knowledge of God and want to indulge in their in their sinful nature and allow their base of passion to take control of them and they started to practice all sorts of lawlessness and all sorts of violence and mm -hmm. you know and um, God said his spirit will not always strive with man mm -hmm. you know and God said the end of all flesh came before his eyes and so he had to do something about it. Could you imagine God saying he repented of making man? I, 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 you mean evil can come to the point where God can repent Mm -hmm. can 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 regret mm -hmm. <laughs> creating and and how long has mercy lingered yeah because i'm um, for 120 years 120 years and, now and, we don't uh, have people in these days living that long uh, yeah and and, and <laughs> it's it's it's, it's, yeah. it's sad to know that the only persons who managed to be saved was the preacher his wife his three sons who were co-workers with him and their wives that's all yeah, he, saw, he was only able to win his own household. The Bible gives a hint for them when it says the imaginations of these guys was continually mischief. They went to bed thinking about mischief and they woke up implementing it. Mm -hmm. This is this this was an awful time. Yeah. But we want to move on. Uh, apart from the flood, we know about Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, that was where, where God went for them. This is not just inviting to come in the ark. He led the people out of the city mm -hmm. by the hand mm -hmm. and still somebody turned back. <laughs> yeah, somebody. It <laughs> tells you the heart of man. So God mm -hmm. can literally change your circumstance and your position, mm -hmm. but with the heart change, it got to be and, and, cooperation. And, and. Yes, you, you must cooperate with mm -hmm. God. Um, God does not do things against the will of people. Um, mm -hmm. I, I like to say this, that Christ said, I stand at the door and knock. Mm -hmm. Christ is mannerly. He, he, he waits to be invited. He does not barge in like the devil. Mm -hmm. Ronnie, you were going to say something. I was saying um, the Lot's wife turned back because she could not divorce herself from the material possessions. Sure and so um, yeah. the Bible clearly says, where your treasure is, there will your mm -hmm. heart be also. Oh, so okay. we have to be careful um, that we don't become too obsessive or not, not to, that we don't become obsessive at all Period. with, with yes, the things exactly. of this world yes, because exactly. those things will, will dissolve. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. The only, only yes. the eternal things will remain. Right. Yes. Lay not your treasures and things That's right. right. Therefore, exactly. why we sojourn here? Mm -hmm. You don't go beyond these portals. Yes, exactly. Um, why are these plagues referred to as the last plagues? Now, we, we did go through uh, previously what a plague is, so we're not going to spend time on that. Um, but, if I can. but in the context of the apocalypse here, plague in this context mm -hmm. is referring to God's justice against evil mm -hmm. and yes, sin. Right. Right. Um, so why last? Uh, if I can comment there. Mm -hmm. um, last because they come at the very end of Earth's history. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and that is in contrast to the trumpet plagues that we discussed earlier. Um, which were limited in, in scope mm -hmm. and the trumpet plagues were executed while the gospel is still being proclaimed. Mm -hmm. All right, But this one comes um, after the close of the third angel's message, which is the final warning message to this world. Mm -hmm. All right, The final warning of judgment to come. Now, um, and it comes upon those who worship the beast and his image and so on as we were, yeah. and receive his mark. Mm -hmm. um, they are poured out then. These plagues are poured out after probation. That period of mercy, after that period is closed. When Christ ceases his intercessory work. And that signals the end of things. This is a serious time we're talking about. Because um, we, we, some time back we said that 
the, the, the sanctuary in heaven is, is the management room of the universe. Yeah. All the decisions are made in there. Yeah. We have all the benefits we have today because we have an advocate exactly. with the Father. Mm -hmm. The Bible is saying that this advocate will be, will remove. He will switch roles. Yeah. He will not be advocate here. Mm -hmm. He's moving. And one uh, inspired writer puts it this way. Uh, the Savior moving from between an offended God and guilty man. Mm -hmm. There is nobody there now yeah. to plead your case. <laughs> you know? And so, hence last, because it's, it's after it, 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 it follows the last warning for planet Earth. Yes, um, and, and the only thing that will, that will, after any human being would suffer after that is the, the wicked is a complete annihilation. Mm -hmm. So it's like nothing coming to molest them after these. These are the only things that, you know, that is like of a plague nature of a, a pestilence or so. And, and, and the, the whatever plagues they had before or pestilences, because Christ was is still in the, 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 the sanctuary, were mixed with mercy. A measure of but, mercy. But that's these right. last ones. No mercy are unmixed. That's, that's why they consider as the wrath of God, God's holy anger. Mm -hmm. Because you see, um, sin is diametrically opposed to God's nature. Mm -hmm. yes. and, 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 and so, when sin came into the world, God's holy nature was offended. And so, God could have wiped us off, mm -hmm. but he chose to redeem us through Christ, mm -hmm. who became the propitiation for our sins, to shelter us, to appease that in that, that, that indignation, holy indignation. Right. Mm -hmm. And so those who now do not accept, leave themselves and they open to these things. So it's, it is reserved it's really to them. Sad. It's really sad. So you're saying, in other words, yeah. God is not putting people in hell. They're going people there. are walking into they're, hell they're by They're choosing themselves. it. Yeah, yeah. Um, apart from the three angel proclamation of the three angels message, there are some other things that will precede the seven last plagues and, and let's talk about some of these other events other activities one of them um, would be the enforcement of the mark of the beast mm -hmm. I, I think we need to talk about that and and in an earlier broadcast mm -hmm. we said that the mark of a bee of the beast sorry is the sign of allegiance to some power some religious yes. power yes exactly um, um, we can either show allegiance to God. There are only two choices. We either show allegiance to God or allegiance to some other power mm -hmm. beside God. Yes. All right? And so um, it is the enforcement. There's a time coming when this mark will be enforced. And we, we, we already established that yes. it is not a physical mark. Mm -hmm. it, it has to do with, with worship. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, and there is... Uh, well, well, of course, with the enforcement of, of allegiance, uh, of, well, well, um, of this mark, comes also death threat to those who refuse mm -hmm. to, to, to pay allegiance. And uh, there's also economic embargo. I think we can talk some uh, a little yeah, bit Definitely about that. economic um, boycott. Mm -hmm. right. um, the previously, we've read Revelation 13. Uh, when the lamb-like beast declares that you will neither buy nor sell from you except exactly. you have the mark of the beast, mm -hmm. this act of of enforcement that the lamb-like beast, which we clearly were, were we, we were able to show, mm -hmm. has is the United States of America. Yeah. They will change their attitude. Now in America, there's freedom of worship. Mm -hmm. There is, uh, you know, um, it, it, it's there's there's full democracy. Yeah. Uh, at at every level, very very little um, uh, government involvement in certain things. It's more about private enterprise and all of that. What is going to happen very soon is the move towards the enforcement of a time and style and type of worship which which is going to happen which will be like um, the image of the beast it will right? be exactly. because remember the beast operated on a similar platform in the past in so the, the beast ages, style. that's right the beast used state power to enforce its dogmas mm -hmm. and, 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 and and its 
its, its, its convictions, whatever it wants you to follow. And so the U.S. will take on a nature like that mm -hmm. in that it will use its state machinery mm -hmm. to coerce people to, to, to worship. So therefore, the, the amendment that speaks to the fact that Congress should have a handoff mm -hmm. When it comes to separation religious matters and, state, and right. give give you the right of the the separation of powers mm -hmm. will will become null and void, will be repealed, you know, and, and, and abrogated, and so. But there was already an executive action on that. Yes, yes, in and, the and that, in that the repeal straight, of the Johnson uh, right? Amendment. Okay. What you have now is the uh, the, the the advancement. Of, for example, the ecumenical movement, yes, in which apostate Protestantism is now occupying senior roles in government and advising, so that now the arm of the state becomes the the advancement of the of the theology and methods of the ecumenical movement, yeah, and so this again is prophetic. Yes. The apocalypse did say it's going to happen. So this mark of the beast includes all of this. Right, yeah. They, 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 this is the advancement of the amalgamation of the powers. And, and, the and, machine, and, and, the entire and, machine. And you see the medieval church um, uses a structure mm -hmm. to get what it wants. Yes. Because it's, it's so organized that members, members, its members are in the halls of power at every level. Yes. Occupying its, mm -hmm. its adherents, mm -hmm. occupying mm -hmm. different level of governance mm -hmm. in, in, in the courts, in the circuit courts and the appeal courts and the, in even the Supreme Court, the highest level. Yes, you know, so, exactly. they, so they have a structure in place that will give them the power to move. The police. And to do, yes. What they're going to do very soon. As it is right now, the lamb -like beast continues to look lamb-like. Yeah. Uh, in terms of policies, they go into countries and they talk about establishment of democracy, uh, free and fair elections, all of that. Mm -hmm. But we know... To speak like a dragon soul. Right. Mm -hmm. And we are seeing some instances of that. Mm -hmm. uh, we are also seeing instances of economic boycott, yeah. where you don't do what we say, mm -hmm. and <laughs> your country is going to go under, yeah. either by military might or by economic um, um, device. Okay, so this mark of the beast is huge, and just to recap a bit, the amalgamation we said it was it includes the papacy, yeah. apostate Protestantism, and paganism, yes. also known as spiritualism. Right. And right now we are seeing the multiplication of satanic worship mm -hmm. and churches and synagogues. That's happening as we speak. And and, and people people these days are proud. Mm -hmm. To say to that they're the Luciferians, right. Luciferians, <laughs> and you know they they worship the devil. So so it's witchcraft all over again, uh, and so forth. Uh, as we move on, um, so so will God's people be protected from the plagues? Sometime we did talk about that. We we can yeah. briefly. Um, well, that's a fact that again. Mm -hmm. First of all, for the matter, that is why it is also considered the seven last plagues too. Mm -hmm. Because um, like the ten plagues in Egypt, the seven last ones of them mm -hmm. show the distinction between who would be affected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so God said, from the fourth up to the tenth, mm -hmm. I will draw a line of distinction. Mm -hmm. And I will reserve the seven last plagues for my enemies, mm -hmm. for those who mm -hmm. dare to defy me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just to... Um, just to allay the fears of um, some Christians who might be wondering what the outcome will be, how it will be for them during this time, I just mm -hmm. want to um, quote some promises from Psalm 91, verse 3. It says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler mm -hmm. and from the noisome pestilence. Verse 5 of Psalm 91 says, Thou shalt not be afraid. Mm -hmm. For the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. Mm -hmm. Verse 6 says, Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. 7 says, A thousand shall fall at thy side, mm -hmm. and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. And I like the best 
one of all. Mm -hmm. There shall no evil, verse 10, befall thee, neither like shall any plague. any plague come nigh or near your dwelling. Mm -hmm. and the, Those the, are wonderful the, promises. But the most important part is, because God will give charge. <laughs> okay. I shall give his angels. Even the most high diabetes. Yeah. That's right. God will give charge to his angels mm -hmm. in relation to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And, and, and that's why I like in, in, in Isaiah 58 when God gave a promise to, to, to feed you with the heritage of Jacob your father. The part what I like is the end part when he said, For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken, spoken it. Yes. So this, this, this will put everything to rest for me. Yeah. Thus saith the Lord. Yeah. He says what he means and he means what he says. All right then. Simple. It, it, it was the children of Israel that God instructed to put the blood on the doorposts. Mm -hmm. And when the destroying angel passed through Egypt, nobody from the, the children of Israel died. Mm -hmm. All right. But every firstborn from Pharaoh's house mm -hmm. right through mm -hmm. were, were slaughtered. Mm -hmm. um, the same applies here. God's people have been redeemed. Right, right, right. Prince Emmanuel is, 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 is their master, mm -hmm. and they are sheltering under his authority, under his righteousness, under his blood. So the angel, the destroying angel, uh, given that, 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 that the, the angels that are given instructions here to hurt, will see God's mark on you. See the end sign. <laughs> <laughs> you see the difference? Yeah. And, and so we go back now to what we were saying. God's wrath is poured out on the beast mm -hmm. and those who have the mark of the beast. Exactly. Eh? But God's seal, nobody with the seal of God is going to be hurt by mm -hmm. the plagues. Mm -hmm. so, so the plagues then you know? of Egypt prefigure the seven last plagues. Yeah, we, can, right? we can see um, to, 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 to a great extent. Can, um, yeah. And they were literal. And, 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 and notice also, like you were, okay, go ahead, yeah. say what you um, There were some that are similar too, like water turned to blood that happened yeah. in, G in Egypt. Boils. Uh, boils, mm -hmm. which are comparable to the sores, mm -hmm. and, and darkness, gross darkness. Yeah. But, but what I noted is that there are some aspects of um, the, 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 the spiritual circumstances, sorry. The spiritual circumstances um, are similar for both sets of plagues. Yeah. Both are a result mm -hmm. of both are a result of defiance to God. Yes. Okay. An oppression of an oppression. People. Exactly. <laughs> right. That's right. right. An oppression of the people. You cannot look, and and this is a, a high note to to bring our, our discussion here to a conclusion. You don't trouble with the apple of God's eye and get away with it. Exactly. No, no, no. A record is 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 made. God sees every act of cruelty, every act of, of, of uh, um, ostracism, every form, whether it's structural or not, of oppression against God's people, he takes a note of it. True. Yeah. And the time he has set for his visitation, that record will be, will, will be met. It's as simple as that. Okay? So, and and this, is, this is not a judge you could bribe. Yeah, that's the good thing. That's the, <laughs> you know, that's the most important you thing. You, you, yeah. You're either right or wrong yeah. on that day, you see. Christ is either your master or not, yeah. you see. And so we got the, the sores, we have the sea becoming blood, mm -hmm. and then we have uh, the, 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 well, symbolizing no activity, creatures have died, mm -hmm. and then all the rivers of water becoming blood. Mm -hmm. This is going to be terrible. Right. Yeah. Rough, now rough, watch rough, this. Rough. You have shed God's, the blood of God's people. Mm -hmm. You are responsible for hurting Christ. You remember what he told Saul before he became converted to Paul? Why persecutest thou me? And so you, 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 you shed God's in, um, people's blood. You will now blood. have to drink the blood. God gives you blood to drink. The guy <laughs> poured out upon the fountains exactly. and the rivers. Exactly. And, and, you, and you try to, and you know, under the mark of a beast, when you try to, to curtail God's people economic activity, mm -hmm. God can drop you onto, turn the scene to blood. <laughs> exactly. You can't do business exactly. no more. Exactly. So, and wherever you meet it out, you can come back. Elder Ron, you can close with a right. final statement. So everything points back to Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Um, grievous sores received by those who, who worship the beast and receive his mark. Mm -hmm. 
but for God's people, we will be um, spared from that, mm -hmm. which means that our physical security is guaranteed by Christ. Wonderful. All right. Um, the sea becomes blood, which is a sim the sea is a symbol of economic activity. And while those who um, worship the beast are affected, God's people will be secure, mm -hmm. which means that all our security is in Christ. Yes. Exactly. Okay. And um, so on. So Jesus then is our suit true source of life Wonderful. And, and protection. Amen. Everything points to him because he is the epitome of truth. Amen. He's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. He's everything. Wow. And so I want to encourage our viewers to accept Jesus and you will have salvation. Wonderful. Elementor, you can close us in prayer. Thanks again, loving Father, for the privilege to share your word. May it go forth, may it accomplish the mission that you desire to accomplish. May lives be touched and be transformed in Yeshua's precious name. Amen. Hallelujah.